Hey, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to be talking about and reviewing this. This is from Tom Ford and this is that cream shadow. Oh, this is the, the cream shadow and then you have this little shimmer on the top here. Comes with this little mirror. I purchased mine at Nordstrom and when I did, I got it on sale. And I'm just going to say thank goodness. <laughs> I got it on sale, okay? And this one is in the color Golden Peach is the, the color of it. So the reason that I got this is because my friend Mallory had shared it on her TikTok. I don't know what color she was wearing, though, but I don't think it was this one. And she just created this beautiful, effortless look. And here's the thing. I don't think I'm... I, I don't like to do effortless looks as far as like not wearing a foundation just doing really minimal look which I don't have going on today I have foundation on and everything today but I just kind of like that and I feel like I've been doing more like bolder eye looks lately and this isn't enough so I'm going to show you and then I'm going to kind of doctor it up a little bit if you will okay so we're going to get right into it I do like the cream I mean it's really really nice um, I just don't think it's enough, I don't feel like it's enough color for me, and I'm going to show you, okay? I'm going to be sharing some looks, too. I bought some new uh, Laura, Cab Laura, Laura Caviar, Laura Mercier Caviar sticks. I bought two. One is turquoise, and one's a really pretty blue color that I bought. Um, I'm going to be sharing some really fun looks using my Laura Mercier. I'm going to do some uh, Sarah Jessica Parker looks. Okay, I'm not trying to look like her, but I'm just kind of using the makeup that she's used. Um, her makeup artist is used on her, so there's going to be a lot of those videos coming up, so just so you know. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to take my rougher brush number 28. Now, she used her fingers, but I'm going to use it this way today. So you can use your fingers, depending on your nails and all that. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to start to apply this to my lid. And as you can see already, it's just really light. It's pretty. Ooh, some of it came off. Maybe I've got too much on here. Let me let me use my finger. I kind of don't like to use my finger all the time. It's kind of a different kind of a cream, too. It's kind of weird. Almost on the dry side cream. Like it's a, it almost feels like it's a, it's like between a cream and a powder, if that makes sense. Kind of like a hybrid of the two. Okay, so we have that. That's easy, right? And and I'm going to blend this up a little bit. It's really pretty. I just feel like I need to have more depth to my eyes. Um, before I do the other eye, let's. I'm just going to show you the whole thing. Now I'm going to go in with this and just use my finger. This is what it looks like on my finger. And I'll go in here and add that shimmer. I think this would be really pretty if you did a, like a winged eye look would be really pretty with this, but I just feel like it's not enough for me, you guys. It's pretty, but it's not enough, okay? So I'm going to use my body heat palette with this, and I'm going to go in, and I'm going to take my rougher brush number 15. I just cleaned my brushes, by the way. There's nothing like clean brushes. And I'm going to go in with this this color right down here this brown color and I'm gonna go ahead and start applying that in my crease and I think already it looks better for me it's just too it's just too light for me I need I need more look how pretty it looks already right I just need that. I think it looks much better on me. And maybe it's just what I'm used to. I don't know. But this is the thing. Pull out your other palettes. If you have something that's not quite working for you, use one of your other palettes with it. If you're like, oh, I really like the colors, but I just, I can't get it to work on me. Pull out your other palettes and you'll get like more of a custom look, you know? Because that's basically what this is. You know, I'm using two palettes and look at how pretty that looks already. So my eye looks more lifted. That's why I, I just can't do the, the really light colors. 
on me. I just don't. Okay, let's do, let's just finish this eye and then I'll get to the other eye. Now I'm going to go in, and this is super easy too, isn't it? Look what I've done already. And it's, I'm looking at my clock, six minutes. So I'm going to go in, and if I wasn't talking, I'd be done. That same color, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that using my BK Beauty smudge brush, by the way. I think it's number 203. I think that's what it is. I'm going right on my lower lash line. And smudging it up for me. There we go. I am going to take this color right here and I'm going to put some of that right here. It's my inner corner. Look at how that brightened my eye up and lifts my eye. So easy to do already. Look at that. I might, I'm going to blend this just a little bit more because you know how I am with that. And I'm actually going to take a little bit. This is my little trick. If I really want to blow this out and really make it look flawless, this is my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star palette. I will take the highlighter and I will just go on the edges and just do that and blow it out and it just looks airbrushed. See how soft and airbrushed that looks now? And you only need a little little amount. Look how pretty that is. Doesn't that look better than... So let me do the other eye, okay? So you can, we can compare the two and then I'm going to fix it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get... Um, I'll just use my fingers. So use my finger and put it right there. I mean, these are just really pretty, but I just need a little bit of depth. I wish it was like, I feel like these two colors are too similar, even though they're not. I don't know. Like a brown would, would have been nice. Like a brown, like this brown and that, that coppery color would be really pretty. Because I just feel like for me... enough just really and then take this see the difference between my eyes I know I didn't do underneath but this just doesn't really do anything for me do you see the difference between the two eyes though see how this one looks so much nicer and lifted this one's just like it's okay you tell me in the comments which one you like better. I like I like the eye that has more definition. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here with this and do the same thing as I did with the other eye. I just feel like I need that definition. I just think it looks so much prettier. I can't even believe I'm going to say this, but I really like this palette, this one. I really do. Um, it's different than any palette I've ever had. Yeah, it's something I would have never, ever gotten if I hadn't seen Mallory. Mallory's color, her eye color is really similar to mine. Her hair color, her skin tone is really similar. She's much younger than me. Um, but her color is very similar. So when I saw how it looked on her, I knew that I would like it on me. She um, creates more of a smoky look with it. And it's, it's just gorgeous on her. So this is my final look. It's still pretty, I feel like it's still on the light side, wouldn't you agree? But I feel like just adding a little bit of depth in there. I don't know, I just feel like I just needed a little bit more of that. See how you see more definition with my eyes? I feel like it looks a lot nicer. But I feel like it looks better, in my opinion. So I think this is really, really pretty. And this is my final thoughts on it. I feel like if you are, if you like to use, just, you know, do something like this, you're probably going to love it. Okay, if you like to use really light colors, because like I said, I think this would be really pretty if you did a really pretty wing look with it, wing eye, but you guys know I don't, I can't do the wing thing. I, I can fake a wing, and I've shared how to fake a wing. If you want me to share another video on it, I can do that. 
but I can do a fake wing with this. And I think, you know, like I said, doing a little bit of wing with this would be really pretty. I just feel like this isn't enough for me. This isn't, this isn't enough for me, you know, just isn't. I love the colors. I think it's really, really pretty, but on its own, it's not enough for me. But I'm glad that I have it. I, I did get it on sale, and I'll have to remember the next time Nordstrom has a big sale. A lot of times I try to tell you guys on my community page, and it just slipped by me. It was like right before the Sephora sale. Nordstrom had a great sale. I mean, I got quite a bit of things there that I wanted to test out and everything. I'll try to remember to do that next time. I'll try to give you guys a heads up on it when I see it again. They do that a lot, and it's really nice because um, I wouldn't pay full price for this, personally. I wouldn't pay full price for it. On sale, I think it's nice, but that's about all I'm going to say. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Really hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys all in my next one. Bye.